Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel and um, thanks for subscribing. Uh, today we're going to be making paella. Um, we're not professional chefs, so if we get something wrong, don't tell us off in the comments. That's so alright, we've got, I'll start with the veggie bits. We've got onion, a bit of parsley, and then we've got some chorizo, some chicken, and some prawns. And we've got a lemon, some chicken stock, paprika, pepper, olive oil, uh, tomato Medicine. paste, mm -hmm. and then pile of rice just to go at the end. So to begin with, we'll put a bit of oil in, get the pan up to temperature, and then put some chicken in and cook the chicken off and make it nice and brown. Okay. All right. Crazy. <laughs> okay. We're making pile. Okay. Uh, yeah, you don't want too much oil because it will just go a bit of a mess. You want the chicken to be nice and crispy. And so yeah, just wait for the pan to get up to temperature and then bob the chicken in and off you go really. Right, so the oil should be up to temperature now. Um, we'll just grab the chicken, which we've cut into little slices. Yep. And stuff it in the pan. Spread it out nicely and just let it brown. Right, so I've cooked the chicken, uh, we've browned it off a little bit. We don't go too mad because otherwise it goes a little bit dry. So take the chicken out and just put it back into the bowl whilst you once you've cleaned it. Crispy bits out and then put the pan back on. Um, a little bit of olive oil. Okay, just open it then. into the pan, put the tripso again just to fry it off a little bit um, and just make it a little bit more crispy and just cook it a little bit. Yeah, so then again just leave it, don't do it on a too high heat because it will just crisp it up so much. Um, but yeah, just leave it on a nice low heat um, and let it cook through and just let it go a little bit crispy. Right, so the tritzo is cooked um, and then the tritzo, whilst we've got all the juices from the tritzo as well, we're going to add the onions and the peppers and cook them off um, and then hopefully they'll soak in some of the juices from that. Shouldn't take long to cook. Yeah. You can see that the onions is picking up some of the sauce or the, um, the juices that have come out of the tritzo. Right, so we've cooked it off a little bit. Uh, into that, we're just going to add two cloves of garlic uh, and carry on cooking it. Uh... Right, so then into that, we're going to add some pureed tomatoes. Just a couple of spoonfuls, you don't have to be too accurate with it. Um, and then on top of that, we're going to add a one bay leaf, uh, some smoked paprika, and then a bit of white pepper. How about salt? Um, some people say put salt in. Um, I think because of the amount of salt in the trick, so we don't usually bother. Um, and then again, just give everything a stir 
Um, and don't cook everything on a real high temperature because otherwise you just burn everything to a crisp before you get all the stock in there. And just... Right, um, now it's time to add some dry white wine. So I'm just going to pour it in. It's a uh, glass, basically, a small glass like you get from a pub. Um, so don't go too mental. Uh, a little bit more. And then just let it basically cook. Turn the heat up a bit. Um, and just basically cook it down until most of the wine's actually dissolved and gone into the food. Right, so as you can see, most of the wine's disappeared. So into this, we're going to add the chicken that we cooked earlier. And then stir it in well, just to get some of this sauce and the flavours all over the chicken and just allow it to cook through for a couple of minutes just to allow it to get back up to temperature after it's been sat on the side. Right, so that's all cooked through now, uh, everything's up to temperature. Into that, we're going to add the paella rice. Um, do make sure you use paella rice, or else it'll look a little bit odd. Right, so we've mixed the rice in, and then into that, we're going to add 500 millilitres of chicken stock. Give it a little stir, just to mix everything in, and then just try and leave it basically, just to let the rice um, soak up all the stock and slowly cook everything together. And then, just to help save you losing all the juices, place a lid on and just turn the heat up just a little bit and then that will stop the moisture for this from escaping. We have my wife Karina's took over duties for now. I'm just helping guys. Yeah. Um. I just get told what to do. I don't um, know how to cook paella. I don't know how to pronounce it. Paella. Paella. I'm going to ask my cousin because he lives in Spain. He speaks Spanish very well, so I'm going to ask him. But yeah. So as you can see, it's just cooking away nicely, slowly cooking all the rice um, and keeping all the flavours in. So we'll put the lid back on and we'll come back to it in probably 10, 15 minutes, something like that. Yeah. And just check it. And then... We're gonna add prawns. Add the prawns, yeah. stir that for probably another few, probably only two, three minutes just to heat them up a bit because they're already cooked. Yeah. Um, and then it's just a case of plating it, um, basil on top and some lemon as well. Well, that's not basil. It's oh, is it not? Parsley. Parsley, there we yeah, are. Parsley on top. You can tell who's the be... chef in this house. <laughs> <laughs> and some lemon on top to yeah. make it fresh lemons off my lemon tree which i yeah. think you saw the video it's now outside enjoying the summer weather yeah um and it will be coming back inside later in the summer won't it my darling <laughs> you wish. it will be all right all right right so as you can see the pile of rice has puffed up quite a bit so i'm just going to add the prawns so we just slowly place them Around. I have washed my hands before doing this, um, so don't worry, I'm not just touching everything. So just place them over evenly. I see we've put quite a few prawns in because we both like seafood. Um, and again, it's up to you how many you put in, um, but we like quite a lot of prawns. So, so it depends on you. Right, so you can see we put the prawns on. I've just pushed them in a little bit just to soak a bit, but not stir them in. So just put them on, put the lid back on, and leave it for a few minutes just to cook. Okay. Right, so that should be it cooked. Um, all we're going to do is I'm just going to remove this bay leaf, because um, no one wants to eat a bay leaf. Um, and then Parsley. And then we're going to put the parsley, just sprinkle it over the top 
Um, yeah, I think it's enough. Yeah, enough. that should be enough. Yeah. And then just on top of it as well, my wife's just going to put some lemons. And that should be it. Pretty much ready to go and serve. So we'll plate okay. it up and then we'll call it placed. So that's it. Mm. So thank you for watching. Yep, thank you for watching, guys. And see you on the next video. I'll see you on the next one.